Alright guys, my name is Super Neko Martian, welcome back to another video. This is going to be the second of the Dragon Ball Z fights in Minecraft. The first one was Frieza vs. the Ginyu Force. That one was amazing, go check that out. But this time, someone's going to be running a gauntlet. Kind of like how popular Mose did before he abandoned the mob battles for Lucky Blocks and more Lucky Blocks. Seriously, why did you do that? Now we have to make our own battles or learn to speak Romanian to get our fix. So, as you can probably see, the person who will be running this gauntlet is Piccolo. Now this is now this guy represents Piccolo in the Buark. So I want to see how strong he has gotten. So uh, by seeing what opponents he can beat. So we are going to start with Android 17. And then move on to Android 16, Semi-Perfect Cell, the Super Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku at the Cell Games, and finally Perfect Cell himself. If he beats all those guys, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe make like Majin Buu or something on the spot, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the intro, and let's get this started. Alright, let's start with Android 17. Alright, Piccolo going straight at it with a ranged attack to start it off. I don't think we've had a ranged attack just yet. That did a ton of damage to 17. It's going to hurt him even more. So he already is getting hurt. Look how much more damage Piccolo is doing. Piccolo was just beating the crap out of him. Oh, man. Alright, so it looks like Piccolo's got this one in the bag. Android 17 is about to go down. Piccolo barely took any damage. Guess this is why they call him the Super Namek, huh? Alright, so we will move on to Android 16. Alright, so Piccolo's back full health, and let's move on to Android 16. Now, depending on the factions, these two might not find each other instantly. May need to go in there and edit 16 a bit, make him aggressive, and that should have that should start to fight. Alright, so Piccolo and Android 16 going at it. Piccolo did not use the ranged attack this time. I guess they were spawned too close to each other for that. Because they have to be at a certain distance to use ranged attacks. That's how I've set it up. Because otherwise they'll just constantly spam them. And ranged attacks don't really get used all that often in Dragon Ball. I mean, they get used in most fights, but you'll see like one of them. The, the, the fighting is mostly done with melee, so let's see how low 16 is. Okay, 16 getting very low on health here. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds nasally, I've got allergies, and let's just say this mic is not helping. It does not help with a nasally voice at all. Uh, I don't like it either, but yeah, Piccolo winning once again fairly easily. It was a good bit harder than 17, he did take some damage, but it looks like he is moving on to semi-perfect cell. Alright, so, it looks lo so he is moving on to semi-perfect cell right now. And alright, as you can see, semi-perfect cell, huge right there. Just because he's big doesn't mean he'll win, we know that from Dragon Ball. That the weakest looking opponents are always the strongest ones, I mean just look at Super Saiyan Pink. Alright, Piccolo, it seems like he's backed Cell into a corner. Not good for Cell right here. Piccolo is the advantage. But Cell seems to be getting a couple hits, a couple extra hits off. Where Piccolo isn't hitting back. So this could get interesting. Let's see if I can try to push Cell out of the corner maybe. Alright, Cell is out of the corner now. I don't really see why he's not flying. I might have forgotten to let Cell fly, but there's nothing that can be done about it now. <laughs> it's way too late for that. That w If I edit Cell now, it'll restart him and bring him back up to full health, so I can't really do that. Alright, so this battle's taking a while, longer than I thought it would. But Cell taking a good amount of damage. Let's check Piccolo. Okay, Piccolo hasn't taken that much damage, but keep in mind, Cell is still at half health. Piccolo beating him up, Cell almost down to 2,000. Alright, so, yeah. Honestly, I know some people don't think that Piccolo can beat Semi-Perfect Cell, but frankly, I think that's ridiculous. I mean, 
if Vegeta, after the hyperbolic time chamber, could do it, I think Piccolo could definitely do it. And more to the point, Piccolo was able to fight a Cell Junior for some amount of time. And the Cell Junior was able to pretty much was pretty much equal to, at least equal to Vegeta in the Cell games. So I think just on that alone, Piccolo has to be stronger. And we are moving on to Super Vegeta, speak of the devil. Alright, we are about to spawn him in. Not sure if he is hostile. Oh, yes, he is hostile. Alright. Two of them go two of them are going at it. This seems like I personally think this is going to be a much closer fight than the last couple. And yeah, it really just does seem like they attack faster when they're flying. I don't know why, but maybe it's something to do with knockback, who knows? But the two of them going at it, Vegeta taking a fairly decent amount of damage already. Piccolo, it looks like Piccolo is still ahead of him. But who knows, the tide of this battle could turn. If Vegeta's able to use a ranged attack, then I think that might tip the odds enough for Piccolo to win. Alright, let's get Vegeta out of the corner if that's possible. Let's try punching him, because let's be honest, if I hit him, it's not going to... They're so powerful, it won't change the outcome of the fight. Okay, that's strange. My punch doesn't seem to be affecting them. I don't really get it, but it looks like this fight is going to stay in the corner. I'm trying to find a way for them to use range attacks more often, but... If, if any of you know a little more about the different AI types and custom NPCs than I do, and any of you could help me out, that would be great. But it looks like Piccolo has won this fight, not by much, though. So, this is not necessarily good, because his next fight is against full-power Super Saiyan Goku, who is a lot stronger than Vegeta was. So, this... Ah, this could be very interesting. Alright, so Piccolo is once again back at full health. We are about to spawn in Goku. Alright, and Goku... Alright, the two of them, right off the bat, they are looking quite equal. This could be a very close fight here. Both of them seem to be at the same amount of health. The two of them just going at it mercilessly. I'm honestly not sure who's going to win here, because both of them are really close. Just one or two extra lucky shots from either of them could turn the tide of this battle. Both of them just flying in the air, beating the crap out of each other. This is a major battle right here. Alright, let's see how much health they're each at. Alright, Goku seems to have an advantage here, actually. Despite his seemingly lower health, it looks like he has the advantage. And he is pressing it. Piccolo, several hundred lower than Goku right now. It looks like Goku just might be able to take this fight and end Piccolo's run. But again, if Piccolo uses a range attack or something like that, that could be bad for Piccolo. And again, seriously, I know a lot about this mod, but learning more is always good. And also, if there's anything else, any other tips I could use that could help me remove the health limits, because if I want... Because, if you don't know, this mod only lets you go to, like, around 30,000 health. And that's good for most mobs, but if I want to fight between, like, Vegito and Gogeta or something, I'm frankly not sure I'm going to be able to model that with the limits this mod has. So if there's any way to get around that, please tell me. And thank you all for watching this video. It looks like Goku has beaten Piccolo. Perfect Cell won't get a turn. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.